Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In today's lecture, we will learn what happens to the capacitor voltage and current when we apply different kinds of voltage sources like uh, AC voltage source and DC voltage source to it. And we will also see the waveforms of current and voltage. You can see here that uh, here I have connected a capacitor in series with this resistance. This, this is a simple uh, circuit and a 40 hertz AC source is also applied here and we know that uh, if uh, you see the theoretical part then we know that the capacitive reactance the it is denoted by xc is equals to 1 divided by omega c 1 by omega c what is omega here omega is 2 pi into frequency omega is the angular frequency so 1 divided by 2 pi f into c okay it is the capacitive reactance so as we know that uh, According to this formula, as we increase the frequency, then the capacitive reactance will decrease. So, as it decreases, so the current will increase. It will offer less resistance, less reactance to the circuit. But if we keep on decreasing the frequency, 1 by 2 pi fc, according to this formula, then if, if I reduce this frequency to 0, let's say uh, reducing frequency to 0 means DC, DC voltage. So, if I apply DC source to it at the place of AC source, so according to 1 by omega C, if omega is 0, it means its capacitance will be, its uh, reactance, the capacitive reactance will be infinite. So, the current will be 0. So, here you see that this is AC current, okay, and you can see the waveforms here. This uh, in uh, green, green part is for voltage and this yellow part. You see here at the bottom yellow yellow waveform is of current so if i decrease this uh, frequency uh, to zero let's say to let's apply dc voltage source to it since in ac case the current is flowing you can see the change in direction here the current is uh, changing the direction at every cycle okay this you see here and if I decrease this frequency and uh, I apply the DC voltage, so let's say, so what will happen in this case? You see here, okay, let me reduce the uh, speed of simulation so that you can uh, easily get it. Let's reset it. Let me first reset it. So see here, let's start it. You see here, the charging. You can see that uh, current is flowing and this voltage, uh, the, see the curve, voltage is increasing and it is saturating and this current decreased and uh, became zero, it reduced to zero finally. See this yellow curve reduced to zero and now it is zero as you also can see uh, in this uh, circuit also that uh, no current is flowing through it, okay, because it is DC. As I already explained you, since uh, frequency of DC voltage source is zero. So, if it is zero, then it will offer uh, infinite reactance and the current will be zero through it. But initially, uh, when it was not charged, first it was charging. You see this green curve, it's charged to the maximum voltage and uh, then it becomes saturated. And if you see the current, the current has reduced to zero. This is the shape of this curve. Now, I will change the source from dc to ac what will happen you see here that uh, current has started to flow again see the direction this is the frequency 40 hertz is the frequency you see the variations of current because at high frequency it offers low reactance. So if I increase the frequency, suppose if I increase the frequency to 100 hertz, then what will happen? You see, it has increased. It will it will offer a path of low reactance. Capacitive reactance has decreased at high frequency. Let's increase it further. If I increase it to 1000 hertz, then what will happen? You see this uh, curve now, the frequency has increased. It is easy for a high frequency uh, 
signal to pass through a capacitor and if we reduce the frequency it of the capacitor uh, offers high reactance okay and if we decrease it to zero that is uh, if we apply dc voltage then the current will start uh, current will stop eventually at last it will stop after full charging of the capacitor so this was about the charging and discharging of a capacitor and uh, its behavior with the dc and uh, ac voltage sources now we will see the effect of changing uh, capacitance of this capacitor on its current and voltage let's see here it is 33 microfarad and if i increase it because by the formula uh, let's change it to 333 let's increase it apply okay so you see that the current is flowing easily through it because uh, by the formula xc equals to 1 upon uh, xc the capacitive reactance equals to 1 divided by omega c so if i increase the capacitance then the capacitive reactance will decrease and uh, if the reactance decreases then the current will flow easily through it so you see here that uh, this this is the current you can see the current has increased you see here the current has increased and in the same way if i decrease it to 3 microfarad then it should decrease the current you see that the current has suddenly dropped this yellow curve this yellow curve is of current current has dropped so this is the concept hope you understood it so in this way we can uh, see the variations of uh, change uh, variations that we see on uh, the current and voltage of the capacitor when we change the capacitance and uh, the frequency of the applied voltage source so thanks for watching hope you like the video for more videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy in next videos we will see more complex uh, circuits and we'll understand the concept behind it so thanks for watching bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.